I'm fat, ugly, and out of shape. Today is April 1st, 2020, and for the next 30 days, I'll be doing a Murph every single day. Let's go, Taylor! Let's go! A Murph consists of a one mile run, 100 pull ups, 200 push ups, 300 squats, and another one mile run all back to back. If I fail to do a Murph any one of these 30 days, I would shave my head bald and give one of you viewers $500. Oh my god. Listen up, kids. Being healthy is a choice, sadism is a lifestyle, I'll tell ya. <laughs> 29 more days to go. I woke up today, I was feeling more sore than a homecoming queen after prom. I have 28 consecutive days more of this. This is gonna be tough. And while I struggled to keep up with the onslaught of bodily pain, I rapidly felt regret that I'd allowed this to become my life for the next 30 days. It's five in the morning right now. Swaldom waits for no one, baby. All right, guys, I've endured five days of this gruesome, torturous hell that is now my life. For instance, I find myself going to bed at three to four in the morning every single night. Why? Because I have a Murph that I have to complete every single day. It's like a dark cloud that looms over me at any given time, a weight on my shoulders that I just can't get rid of. And it has, without a doubt, increased my stress levels by at least 300%. Gyms have been wiped off the planet. No one's ever outside. It's just been a very lonely experience thus far, and I feel very isolated. And to top it all off, the only flavor in my bland life has been reduced to this. Ground chicken, ground beef, low fat, jumbo sized eggs, water. 25 more days to go. Don't become a YouTuber, kids. And I continue to suffer. Stay hard! It's day number six, it's 2.39 a.m. And to be frank, I'm not quite certain that this path of masochism, self-torture, and personal development is necessarily worth it. But I've made my choice, I guess, so I'm rolling with it. Ugh. All right. Seven days of the Murph complete. I feel like I'm about to throw up some major chunks right about now. I had a McDouble, a vanilla parfait, and a free apple pie. And to top it all off, it's 4.30 a.m. in a foreign land. At this point, to be honest, I feel like I'm a walking corpse. I'm going to bed at three to five in the morning every single day. I think I'm gonna go to bed. And at this point, the Murph was no longer difficult. It just had to be done, always, every single day. Well, my body acclimated to the intensity of the Murph, my diet and sleep schedule gradually dissolved. As McDonald's runs became more frequent and lean chicken breasts in my fridge slowly disappeared. All right, folks. I've completed 15 out of 30 Murphs, one Murph a day for 15 days straight. I'm not gonna lie. I'm dominating the push-ups and the pull-ups now. I'm doing 40 push-ups at a time, 20 pull-ups at a time, compared to five pull-up sets day one and 20 push-ups per set day one. At this point, this workout's extremely easy. It's just a matter of me remembering, waking up, and making sure to do it. But to be frank, on one occasion, the day after I ran on the treadmill for 24 hours straight, I set an alarm at three in the morning, woke up at three, hit the snooze button, Button, fell asleep and I never did my Murph. F my life. Alright, I'm here with Ryan Trahan, longtime internet nemesis and Haley fam. Ryan thinks he's at the peak of his physical climax right about now. What's your fastest mile? 415. Dang, okay, today we break that. No, I ran a 456 mile freshman year actually. Did you really? That's faster That's than I ran. Today I'll put my beautiful luscious brown mane on the line. I'm gonna shave it off if I lose to either of these two today. I'll bet you 300 bucks in a Splendid packet. I'm gonna beat you. It's a deal. It's a deal. Best of luck, sir. Best of luck, Haley. Dang. I'm drafting Ryan's right hand right now. Let's see now the direction of the wind is east west right now. We're gonna use that to our advantage. It's not a marathon, it's a quick mile. And there he goes, overlapping me. The gap between us is widening. I'm feeling too prime. We're gonna finish strong. And while my first Smurf partner, Ryan, pushed me to my best time yet, a solid 44 minutes, I was unaware of the sheer willpower exhibited by Ryan and the imminent dehumanization I would soon experience at the hands of that fing razor. So it turns out Ryan won. I don't want to do this, dude. Actually, coming off? Dude, this is kind of sick so far. Really? Yeah, you kind of look epic right now. And while I thought my life couldn't get any worse, I was being shaved bald for the amusement of the masses. I was slowly becoming a stoic monk, devoid of pleasure and happiness, a bald f***ing monkey. Bro, I look like the guy who gets voted out first on The Bachelor. <laughs> <laughs> that guy right there. Yeah, I'm picking your daughter up at six. What do you guys think? Well, at least you didn't have to shave it bald. Speaking of which, all right, Nick, make me bald, brother. Johnny Sins, let's go. Oh, God. 
god, it kind of <laughs> hurts. And with every follicle of hair came with it a shred of dignity and an ounce of my pride. My individuality was gone, and I was a mere puppet to the whims of the karmic threads of the universe. All right, folks, the crime has been committed and the punishment has been dealt. I'm bald, balder than I've ever been. Beautiful brown locks mm -hmm, have been discarded from my egg-shaped skull. I feel pretty efficient, not gonna lie, so 15 more days to go. You know what they say, kids, you are what you eat. <laughs> Anyways, and for the next five days, me and this empty hospital parking lot would hash it out at 2 a.m. Every single day, as I dreamt of setting a new PR, but barely failed to do so. Very infuriating, I must admit. All right, I've been out here for 20 days. I can't solve a Rubik's Cube. I'm probably dehydrated. I'm really itchy, and I hate doing this. I'm not gonna lie. I have 10 more days to go. I'm not looking like a Greek god. This is not enjoyable. But at the end of the day, we're trying to push human limitations right now, plus ultra. Shout out David Goggins. F this and at this point, days sort of flickered by and I really just stopped caring. I did push-ups in front of couples taking photos, push-ups in front of active police scenes. It did not matter anymore. Nothing mattered anymore. There was no real point to any of this. Call me a nihilist. I don't care. I did MRFs for the sake of doing MRFs at this point. And because I promised myself I would, it wasn't for the good of my body, it wasn't for the betterment of my mental health, I shaved my freaking head bald for this. It was self-punishment for the sake of self-punishment. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god, uh, it's been 25 days. I don't usually wear short shorts like this, but at this point, I don't even care. I welcome pain. I love pain right now. I enjoy pain. Nick, punch me in the stomach right now. Let's go. <laughs> Didn't even hurt, as you can see. The moral of the story is this is nothing but suffering right now. This is not enjoyable, this is not fun, but it's almost over. Do we pursue things to enjoy the conclusion, or do we enjoy the rising action? I don't know. If this is the narrative structure of my life, then so be it. I'm almost done, baby. And there was no one cheering me on. No one pushing me to do this. Just me in that hospital at 2 a.m. in the morning every day. And these shots right now are just to spice up the video visually. The worst part is, I might as well fake this entire video because there are no gains to show for this entire struggle. I didn't even look that much better after this. Just mental scars to show for my struggle, man. Mental scars. And finally, my day of liberation came. I pulled up to some college and casually finished this nonsense. Sure, I developed some pretty good cardio, but I still looked like a melted piece of caramel ice cream on a sunny day day. I might as well have just eaten Cheetos all day and watched Jerry Springer as I would still look the exact same, if not better. But I did this for 30 days. What did I prove, man? And to who did I prove it? Myself? What does that even mean? Personal development, my cheeks. I basically just punched myself in the face just to admire the bruise in the mirror. And it didn't even look that cool. And finally, I finished 30 days of Murphs, folks. Here are my results. Alright guys, I just took my shirt off. Nick looked at me, I looked at myself, and I just cried in my heart. Now if we take a moment to analyze my body. In this video clip taken the 30th day, you'll notice that I kind of look like a shredded beast. A little bit of a six pack going on there. And just reviewing this footage, quite frankly, it astounds me. And as you'll notice, the more I experiment with flexing and angles, the more beast like my abdominal area becomes. But if we analyze this next piece of footage, which was taken on the same day, mind you, don't mind my crotch area, I promise I didn't pee my pants, you'll notice I look dramatically less in shape. No abs, I got thick love handles for the ladies out there and I look relatively quite fat. No definition whatsoever. What happened? I'm not quite sure, but there's no Photoshop involved. I look like a fat schmuck in one video and a decently lean goon in the other. I look fat as <laughs> I'm not gonna cap, but the moral of the story is that this challenge was never about getting swole. It was a challenge in mental willpower and dedication. Results are coming soon your way. I've got the willpower down. I just need to lock in the diet and the proper routine to become a god. All right, I'm gonna pick one of you goons to win the 500 bones. Follow me on the gram at Tyler Oliver Official. My loss, your gain. Cheers. While that definitely sucked, I wonder what would happen if I trained like The Rock for 30 days. 